Hey guys, my name's Meg. I am a physiotherapist based out of Toronto and owner of Fit Physiotherapy. This is also my first blog, so enjoy all the awkwardness that comes with that. The reason I'm doing this blog is to bring some attention to postpartum health. It is just a sad state of affairs. And the reason being is that we as moms are so focused on bringing home these little sweet bundles of joy that we totally forget about our own recovery and how to properly take care of ourselves. So let me dispel some of the myths that are out there, especially when it comes to returning to fitness and exercise. <music> have gone, you've had a baby, whether you had a C-section or a vaginal delivery, and you've gone back for your six week appointment. If the OB or your midwife or whomever has cleared you for exercise and they have not even laid a hand on you or set you up with a very clear plan of what your rehab should look like, then you indeed are not clear for exercise. It's okay if they don't do this for you, but then find somebody who will. A physiotherapist is a great start. Um, there's a lot of great people uh, who are specialized in postpartum care and assessment, and you need to get yourself in. Which may sound like it's contradicting my first point, is that you do not need to be cleared to start exercise. I know, right? But by exercise, I do not mean training for a marathon or doing 100 jumping jacks in your living room. I mean starting with breathing. And yes, breathing is an exercise. Oh, you need to strengthen from the inside out. There's no other way to do it. <clears throat> or no, there is other ways to do it. You need the stability from the inside first. And breathing is where it begins, my friend. We need to get rid of the idea that getting back in shape postpartum means doing 100 planks and 100 push-ups and 100 burpees and 100 chin-ups and all of this crazy nonsense, too much speed, too out of control, our bodies are going in every which direction and it only results in trouble, believe me. I see you all after the fact. Do not think of your core as your abs. Like, don't. Stop thinking of that. Your core is what holds all your shit inside of you. All your organs, all your vertebrae, everything. Keeps you contained. When we think of it as abs, people tend to really focus on the wrong type of exercises. And in fact, when we do that, we make the mommy tummy worse. Okay, so get out of that mindset. Your core is three-dimensional. It wraps around your whole midsection. It's what lifts us against gravity. It's what supports us when we're standing and holding our baby for excessively long periods of time. It is the fundamental area that needs to be worked and retrained after you've gone through the whole mess of pregnancy and delivery. If you are waiting to get an hour to yourself um, when you are full of energy and you don't have any kids around and you don't have anything else you need to be doing to work out, then the clothes on your body, the workout clothes on your body are going to disintegrate while you wait. Let's face it, there's just not time for that. And, and if you can make time, amazing, you're a superhero. But for most of us, it's just unrealistic. So you need to find ways to integrate your rehab, your strengthening, your conditioning into your day and 
I promise you there'll be more tips on this to come. Right? It's crazy. If we can keep track and be neurotic about how often our child takes a shit, then we can definitely expect more from what we're given in terms of direction with our own rehab. It's just a major flaw in the system, in my opinion. Okay, ladies, I want you to hear this one. Your body is never going to be the same body it was before pregnancy. Mm -mm. Now, that doesn't mean that it's a worse body. In fact, you have the potential to start fresh and make this body the strongest body and the most resilient body. I mean, and you just made a child. It's pretty amazing. And so you need to think about it as a fresh beginning with a fresh body. Going back to treating it the way you treated it before you had kids is not necessarily helpful or productive. If you were a marathon runner, great. You can probably be a marathon runner again, but you're not gonna be a marathon runner three months after you have a baby. You need to build up strength. You need to also connect with this new body. So it's a fresh start, it's a fresh body, and you need to respect and treat it as such. But it's gonna be awesome. On that note, Recovery is a marathon, not a sprint. Like, stop thinking of postpartum as being like 12 weeks or stop thinking of um, the notion of bouncing back. It doesn't happen. Like, it takes months, years to get to a place that you want to be. It really depends on the individual. So this idea of like killing yourself for the quick bounce back body is down the line incredibly detrimental, okay? You've had a baby, some crazy stuff's happened. I mean, your pelvis has opened up like the jaws of life. Okay, if you are a woman watching this and you've had a baby, you are postpartum. Whether you had that baby six months ago, six weeks ago, six minutes ago, six years ago, you are postpartum. Your body has forever changed and some of you get right into recovering it in a proper and efficient way and others don't and get lost along the way. That is okay. But if you are a woman who had a baby six years ago and you're suffering some common symptoms, if you pee yourself when you laugh or you run or you jump, if you have low back pain almost constantly. These are all common things that can carry on for many years after having a baby and just because your kid's off and going to school doesn't mean you're still not feeling the effects of birthing such child or carrying that child. They owe you big time. See, this is my last and most important point is our bodies are amazing, like insanely amazing. I don't need to tell you this, you all get this. And we're stuck with this for the rest of our lives. And we need to treat it with the utmost respect that it deserves. And that means giving time for it to heal and recover. And putting in time to get it strong so it can carry you through the life you want to live. And also listening to it. It will tell you what's going on if you connect and you listen to it. Let me see. Anyway, my point is Kegels, Kegels, don't get me started. This is like a whole other topic, but Kegels, if that's what all you've been told to do for your postpartum rehab, oh, come see me. Don't do Kegels or don't blindly do Kegels or don't do Kegels alone. My God, eh. we're all incredible people. We all know this, we're amazing. So let's all start um, treating ourselves that way. Is it still on? Yep. Around um, 